Hello everybody. Welcome from HBACR Design Engineering. My name is Duya Ang. Now, I want to talk about hot and cold water dispenser working principle. Hot and cold water dispenser is consists of cooling tank and heating tank. Cooling tank consists of evaporator coil that is wrapping around the cooling tank for absorbing the heat from the water. Thermostat can setting the temperature of water. Temperature sensing pad is dipped into the water for sensing the temperature of water. When temperature sensing pad is sensing the setting temperature of water, thermostat will stop the compressor running. Thermostat can stop in the compressor running by disconnecting the electric current flowing into the compressor. Heating tank consists of heating element for heating the water. Heating element is wrapping along or inserting into the heating tank for heating the water. When heating the water, light and neutral current must be supplied into the heating element. In hot and cold water dispenser, Water bottle is upside down on the top of the hot and cold water dispenser. This allows to fill both cooling tank and heating tank by gravity flow. Because cooling tank and heating tank are connected with drain tube. Now, we are looking at the refrigerant circuit in hot and cold water dispenser. In cooling tank, refrigerant liquid is passing through the evaporator coil for absorbing the heat from water. After absorbing the heat from water, refrigerant liquid is changing to low pressure, low temperature refrigerant vapor. And then, this low pressure, low temperature refrigerant vapor has been sustained by compressor and changing to high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapor. This high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapor are discharged into condenser by compressor. This high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapor is cooled down by passing through the condenser coil for removing the heat. After removing the heat in condenser coil, high pressure, high temperature refrigerant vapor is changing to high pressure, medium temperature refrigerant liquid. This high pressure, medium temperature refrigerant liquid is passing through the filter dryer for capturing the moisture and solid system. After passing through the filter dryer, high pressure medium temperature refrigerant liquid is passing through the capillary tube for changing to low pressure low temperature refrigerant liquid. This low pressure low temperature refrigerant liquid is passing through again into the evaporator coil that is wrapping around the cooling tank for absorbing the heat from water. Thank you very much for watching my video.